guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my empties from January. If you haven't noticed, I am in a different location now. I did move. You can check out my moving vlog that went up on Monday. Basically, I moved like 30 minutes away from my parents' house. I moved out and now I am living in like central Houston. So that's the news on that. But I am going to start going through my January empties because I carried it over with me to the new house and it's a lot. Um, a lot of candles actually. So we're going to get started. I might come up closer to the camera because um, you probably won't be able to see some of this stuff. But I will just start off with the candles. Okay, I'm standing up now because you can't really see the stuff if I'm that far away. But anyways, uh, finished off some candles. So the first one here is Cinnamon Irish Cream, which this one, um, I liked it. I actually liked it a lot more uh, this year than last year. I got this in 2020, but I, no, sorry, 2021? What year did I get this, 2020? Yeah, 2020. And I didn't enjoy it then, but I did enjoy it now just because that cinnamon buttercream was really nice and it was actually cold outside, so that was actually good. The next one along the same kind of lines is Love Every Bunny Sweet Carrot Cake, which has so much cinnamon in it. Uh, scent notes are sweet cream cheese frosting fluffy carrot cake and cinnamon spice. This one was super cinnamon heavy, so I wanted to wait until it was cold to burn it. It honestly felt weird having this during like Easter time in April because I just wasn't in the mood for cinnamon scents, but this one was really, really good when it was cold outside. So those two were nice, especially in the bedroom, just to kind of like relax at the end of the day with some like bakery scents. And then I have Tis the Season, which I picked up actually at Summer SAS uh, in 2021. Scent notes are rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. This one was nice in the bathroom. It was like a super simple apple scent. Really good, honestly. I don't think I'd ever pay like full price or even like $15 for this, but I would pick it up if it was like 75% off or less or even on a candle day. Another one that's a Christmas candle is The Perfect Christmas. This one is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallows. So this one actually was finished off at Ryan's house because my mom couldn't stand it. And honestly, I didn't like the balsam scent in our house, but in Ryan's house, it actually performed really well and it canceled out most of like the cooking scents. So if you cook a lot, you would probably like this one. I don't know. And then another one that I gave Ryan to use up at his house, Laundry Day. This one, for some reason for me, smelled like kerosene every time I burnt it. And it was honestly too strong. But he really enjoyed it. I think he got the most use out of this one uh, in his bedroom. So he really liked it. So I guess if your man likes clean scents, get him that. <laughs> And then the last one I finished off for candles is a single wick and pumpkin spice latte. This is from a um, brand that's local to me. This is Light Yo Wicks. So here's the name, Light Yo Wicks. But uh, it was a really good scent. Just smelled like coffee. It was amazing performer, like super, super strong. So I, if I see her again at another like trade show or something, I'll definitely pick up more. Okay, let's do some bricks because I have a lot. Okay, we're gonna start off with some Scentsy bricks. So the first one I have is Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. So I actually didn't do a Scentsy order in the winter. I only did a fall order. So this is like me finishing off most of my fall scents and some winter scents um, in January. So Cranberry Pumpkin Spice, finish it off. I did like this. My dad hated it though when the pumpkin was going because he was like, this is too strong. I was like, okay. So just try to finish that off and, and probably, I mean, I probably would get it again because I enjoyed it. And now that I'm living in my own house, I can get stuff that my parents wouldn't like smelling, but I would, and Ryan is not picky at all with scents. So uh, next one is Orchard Apple and Spice. This one was really good. It's just like super simple, uh, rich red apple scent. So this one was really nice and juicy. And then Breakfast in Bed, I think this one was my favorite. Um, it's basically like, I'm pretty sure it's like berry croissants. Mm, so good, yummy and bakery smelling. This one was really, really yummy. So definitely enjoyed that. So I recently did a Kringle candle slash country candle wax haul um, in December during, or no, it was November during Black Friday. So I finished off a few of those. The first one is hot chocolate. This one smelled amazing. If their shipping didn't take freaking forever and these were a little cheaper, I would buy like 20 of these. They were so, it was so yummy. It was that beautiful, rich chocolate scent. Mm, 
so good. Then we have white chocolate chai. This one, this one was okay. It, it wasn't anything special. I would not purchase it again. Uh, this one was candy cane cheesecake, which I thought would be really good. And on cold, on cold, it smelled so good. On cold, it smelled just like the, the name. But burning, I couldn't smell anything. So that was a really a letdown on that one. And then this one, lava cake. Okay, I didn't even finish it. I'm just going to chunk it out because it smells like granny perfume. And no offense, but it does not smell like lava cake. I thought it would be, you know, hot chocolate fudge. It's, it smells like mothballs. It's horrible. So no, um, I probably won't be purchasing off of Kringle unless they have another really good sale because their shipping took like half a month, way too long. So anyways, the last wax melt I have is from Aldi. Actually, this is Huntington Homes First Snow. This one was really good. It was basically just a super simple peppermint scent. Really yummy. I blended it with quite a few different things and I loved it every time. So I probably will definitely perch, not probably, definitely. I will definitely be purchasing Aldi wax again if I find it because I think this was $2 for, you know, a relatively regular size clam. So I thought that was a really good deal. Okay, let's do some body care. The first thing I finished off in body care is the Onyx Bathhouse Stay Toasty Toasted Marshmallow Foaming Body Scrub. I really enjoyed this formula. It's super thick and abrasive and it like foams up in the water. It's really nice. And the scent, it really wasn't that great. Um, it just smelled sugary. I wouldn't say it smelled like marshmallow at all. So yeah, um, but it was really good. <laughs> I liked the formula of this and I do already have a second one. That's the cinnamon roll one that I'm gonna use next. So I do love this formula. Scent was like whatever, but also I think it was only like $6.99 or $5.99, so really cheap at TJ Maxx, can't complain. Okay, I do have this EOS Shea Butter Shave Cream. This was really good, I already repurchased it. I really like it for the price, honestly, it lasted me a very long time, like maybe three months or more. And yeah, I really, really like this. I also finished off a Bath & Body Works soap in Toasted Vanilla Chai. This is my favorite scent for soaps, you guys know. Um, the scent notes are whipped vanilla, spun sugar, and winter spice. Super simple vanilla scent. It's honestly warm vanilla sugar. <laughs> it's it's honestly just warm vanilla sugar pretty much, but it was really yummy and I enjoyed it. A few more body care items. So I got this hot cocoa and cream hand cream that I finished up. This is a really good scent. And honestly, I'm starting to think I really like it in the minis during winter because this was just like, it was really hitting the spot in January. It was so yummy. It's that beautiful rich chocolate scent. I loved it. And then I only finished off one pocket back in Twisted Peppermint, and that was it. I do have four wallflower refills. I think it was like a refill month this month. So so right here I have Laundry Day, and actually Laundry Day is going right now in our garage at my parents' house. And then I think I replaced it with, I don't know what it was, but it was another laundry scent. We like to have laundry scents going in the garage. Um, I have Peppermint Sugar Cookie going in the kitchen downstairs. And I think it replaced some sort of, oh, I think this was pumpkin pecan waffles, actually. That was really good in the kitchen. And then we have Lakeside Morning. I think this is in a bathroom. I honestly can't remember. And it replaced some sort of, uh, some sort of balsam scent, I think. I can't tell exactly what this one is, but it was really good. And then we have Winter Candy Apple also in another bathroom. This one replaced... Champagne apple and honey, I think. So we like to put like either fruity scents or fresh scents in the bathrooms. So those were all the wallflower refills. So I have the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. You guys know I go through like a million of these, maybe one every two or three months. And it's amazing. It's so good. If you have a problem with a dry scalp, I highly recommend this. I only see it at Target, but I think you can order online as well. I finished off a Tony Moly sheet mask in the Cactus Purifying one. I finished off an Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics Serum. I honestly don't see that much of a difference when I use the Ordinary the ordinary products, but maybe that's just my skin. I finished off two concealers, actually. That's a first for me. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Tin Fair, and I've already repurchased it because I really love that uh, that formula. 
And then I have the Hydrating Elf Camo Concealer, and this one was in Light Beige. I did repurchase it, but in the matte camo concealer, or just like the regular formula. I do, I do really like that. And then I have the e.l.f. Wow Brow Brow Gel. I didn't particularly like this. It's honestly not that great um, if you have unruly brow hairs like I do, so I didn't really enjoy that. Um, and then the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner in Dark Brown. I've been really getting into brown eyeliner. I'm actually wearing some right now, but this is from Etude House. I actually purchased it at TJ Maxx, but it is the brand Etude House. Um, I thought I was going to try this Wet n Wild one and really like it, and I did for like a week, and then it dried out on me. So I definitely don't recommend um, getting these Wet n Wild Felt Tip Eyeliner pens because it, it lasted a week, and then it was already dry. Okay, well, that's everything for my January empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below something you're super proud of finishing off. I'm really proud that I finished off six candles, five three wicks, and one single wick, so that's like a really good thing for me. And I'm finishing off a lot of clams, which is really exciting to me um, because I do want to do another wax melt haul when the spring Scentsy catalog comes out, which I know it's already out, but I'm still waiting a little bit until it's actually spring to get some stuff. Um, so I'll probably be doing a Scentsy order soon and like a Walmart wax trip soon. So that's probably going to happen sometime in February or March. Be on the lookout. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.